guys, it's me, Alina. Today I'm going to show you how to create, um, well, not create. I'm just going to show you the dress I've made here. It's really lovely and beautiful. It's supposed to be really pretty and stuff. Um, it is attached completely. Like, I glued almost the whole thing on except for this end part. Um... So it looks like this. It fits on Ever After High Dolls. So I'm going to put it on. Uh, let's see if the back is dry yet. No. So I had to put it on a doll that I don't care about too much. Oh no, I got glue in her hair. I might just need to get a new one. A briar or something. Ugh. Yeah, she's covered in glue. Oh well. Um, I'm going to use a... Uh, I'm just going to use Coletta Spectel because she has almost the same size as um, I never have tried all. I did do stuff to her eyes and her face is still kind of black. But I did paint her eyes gold. I mean, not her eyes, but like her... Eyeshadow. And look at that. Oh, she has a band aid. <laughs> okay, so we're just going to slip this on Coletta Spectella really quickly so I can show you what it looks like. Alright, so it just slips on easily, slips off easily too. <laughs> Alright. Um, and yeah, uh, the cape goes past the legs, so when they're walking, when the dolls are supposed to be walking, it kind of drags behind like that. I'm going to need some glue because this is not tight enough. And I'm just going to use my fabric glue. It's called Craft Bond, Bond Fabric and Paper Glue. Oh, I think I put a little too much. But I'd rather have too much than too little on there. I'm just going to put that away now. I'm going to rub this. Uh, I have glue all over my hands. There we go. Okay. So, that's uh, how it looks like. Here's how it looks like on her. There. It's really nice and beautiful. This fabric is the same one I used for Briar's bed. So go ahead and check out that video after you're done watching this. Um, yeah, bye. Just kidding. I'm just going to make it. I'm just going to make one for Apple White, but using Coletta Spectella. You're just going to need some red fabric that's stretchy. I have a lot of this, so I'll have enough. So I'm just going to start with this. You're just going to lay it down on the ground first. Once you have it, I'm going to do this. Lay it out on the ground. You're just going to right there you're going to lay your doll that you're using down make sure her arms are up and stuff and she's not wearing anything and it's right below where her arms are um, and then you're just gonna use um, scissors to cut it out so I'm just 
these. And um, I'm just going to scoot her over to right here. And then so when you'll be able to... Well, I might have to scoot it down just a tiny bit. Okay, so when you fold over, it'll be able to fit around. I need to move her a little closer to the edge still. So you just keep experimenting till you get the right fit. That looks about right. And then you'll cut down the side. Now you want to make it more skinny at the top. Then as you go down to the bottom, after you meet where her knees bend, you're going to flare it out. So go and curve outward. And then after you've done that, then you're just going to cut across right after her feet. And then you could just take the doll off and just keep cutting. And so you get a piece that looks like this. And you're going to lay your doll down so that her chest is facing on the fabric. Then the side that you're going to fold over, fold it over now. Um, so I'm just going to fold it right on over. And then at the end, you're going to glue this area together and the top like that so that's what I'm gonna do so I'm just gonna take some glue this one this is my new one um, and glue down the uh, you're gonna start at the top and work your way down come on okay there we go now it's coming out Okay, once you got to glue it to where you want it to glue it to, I'm just going to put some glue right there to fold this one up. And I'll fix, go ahead and fix that later. And then I'm just going to put some glue on the edge right here so that this will glue to there. And you want to keep keep the end open so you have a leg cut there. Um, Um, like that and then you're going to carefully put her on your piece of fabric that you don't really care about too much and get some gold paint I'm going to do this over the fabric and pour it down I guess this fabric is doubled so that I won't get anything on the floor and I will use a paintbrush. A paintbrush, and I'm just going to draw the top on. Start here and color it in like this.
and then starting to draw down the uh, tip where it's going to be sharp at and stuff and I'm trying to go quick because I don't want to stop recording and stuff because um, and you're just gonna keep filling that in until you get something like that. Oh, you can't even see it. I'm so sorry. Let me just put that away. And that away. Let me show you. See? Now we're just gonna make the cape. We're gonna scoot her down just a little bit and you're just going to cut a piece out like this and carefully flip her over without putting her on the ground and take the piece that you just cut and you're just gonna fold two sides in. Okay, and then you're just going to do a line of glue and glue it right onto the dress. Oh, the whole dress fell off. Okay, so I'm gonna do this over something I don't care. Okay, I'm gonna do a little piece of yellow piece of paper and put the fabric down carefully and then put her right on top and stuff because it just fell apart. I mean, like, literally the whole dress did. And then I'm gonna glue, glue the cape on. And then just set her off to the side until she dries. And that's basically it on how to make it, because it's really simple, like really simple. And then, yeah, thanks for watching.